Greater security is the development of the education sector by the administration of Ramalan Yeru. The governor, in forging ahead to revamp the sector, has now made it possible for boys and girls in the state to have qualitative education at all levels. Having moved from a state of near collapse to becoming a vibrant sector, the Kaduna State Government is giving education the deserved attention in recognition of the fact that without an educated citizenry, no meaningful development can take place in any society. In order to fulfill this objective, Governor Ramalan Yero, upon assuming office about two years ago, ensured that the state's outstanding counterpart funding to the Universal Basic Education Commission, UBEC, was settled, thereby paving way for the provision of infrastructure in order to address the problem of dilapidation in public schools. Scores of schools were rehabilitated and new ones were built in order to improve the learning environment across the state. This is in addition to the provision of classroom furniture and teaching aids. Consequently, a number of schools are wearing a new look and students as well as parents are excited with a renewed impetus to improve the fortunes of education in the state. We are grateful with what he did to us and we, we thank him for what he did and we wish him another tenure. We are thanking him for providing funds for us now in our classes, but we are now sitting comfortably too full. It's really, I'm really thankful to him. We have employed additional 1,800 teachers at the basic education level and another 217 academic staff for the Kaduna State University. We have also introduced capacity building program for teachers in core subjects of English language, mathematics, physics, chemistry, and biology. This approach has yielded positive results as Kaduna State emerged third this year on the list of states with the highest number of students that pass the West African examination. The free textbooks policy of the state government, especially at the primary school level, is an initiative that has significantly reduced the problem of accessing books in the core subject areas of English, social science and mathematics. And normally we used to receive uh, about 160 or 70 million naira from UBEG for TPD, Teachers Professional Development, while Kaduna State is the only state in the Federation that match the same amount. So that instead of training 1,000 teachers, we train 2,000 teachers every year. To further demonstrate its commitment to education, the Ramalan Yero administration now pays NECO examination fees for indigent students. Students in tertiary institutions, both within and outside the country, are getting scholarship allowances. So far, more than 100 million naira has been expended by the government for the payment of NECO registration fees, just as 450 million naira was set aside for scholarships in local institutions, and 800 million naira earmarked for scholarship for those running postgraduate programs in foreign universities. Some of the beneficiaries include final year medical students of the Kaduna State University who are now in Uganda to complete their clinical training. We have selected the first set of medical students of the Kaduna State University for this exercise. This is because since medical science is one of the key courses under consideration by government, the expediency of getting them to complete their clinical training has become paramount address the gap you know that exists between their, their, their study that they have completed in school and then the period that they are supposed to go to, uh, to the university for, for their clinicals and that is exactly what happened and government is committed to completing the Barodukou teaching hospital upgrade so that our students do not have delay you know uh, in completing their clinicals. Governor Mukhtar Ramalan Yeru is many things to different people. The consensus, however, is that within a relatively short period of time, he has significantly touched the lives of the people of Kaduna State in so many different ways.